Dimber, uh, you may have never heard of this band, but after this reaction, you're never going to forget them. It's time for reaction. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. And the merchandise store. Okay. Bloody Wood has opened up a few doors when it comes to uh, folk Indian and Indian metal, Indian folk metal. Any combination of those three things. A lot uh, has come up since I've done that Bloody Wood video. And one of them is this. Uh, Dimber reached out to me and they said, hey, we're, our name is Dimber and we're also from India and we just released a new song. We'd hope you'd check it out and stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. What is it called? And they're like, it's called Rape Culture. So it's, it's not bunnies and flowers, is it? They're like, no. Okay, for those who don't know, um, there are places in the world where rape culture does exist. Um, some people say that there's a rape culture in the United States. I personally don't agree with that statement because rape of anyone is illegal and you could be prosecuted. Now, do we need to uh, fix it and change it and uh, be more stringent and how we and go after it more? Yes, we need to do better. But there are places in the world where it's not even looked at, where the authorities will look the other way where it's just socially acceptable india is one of those places now we've watched bloody wood do their amazing stuff about political corruption and their last song uh Godard, uh screamed that uh this band is taking it right in the face about the situation with rape culture in india if you don't know anything about this buckle in this is probably going to shock you I haven't seen the video yet, but I've seen two or three documentaries and I've read a couple of articles. As a dad of three girls, this is one of my worst nightmares of all time, of course. But as a guy who doesn't live in India, I can't speak to it. So I'm going to let this band, Denver, tell you all about it. Please check the description below. I'm going to put the link to the original video there. Please check this band out. I don't know what they sound like, but people have said, ooh, Denver? They're similar to Bloodywood, and I'm like, well, that's all you had to say, bro. Let's get into this. You've been warned. The subject matter of this is probably going to be a little bit difficult if you're not used to it. And even if you are used to it, it should still bother you. This is Denver. My name is Old School Nerd. The, same of the name of the song is Rape Culture. Here we go. Every 16 minutes, a woman is raped in India. Every 30 hours, a woman is raped and murdered in India. Every fourth victim is a minor. And these figures are just the tip of the iceberg. That's only the ones that are reported. Mouth harp. Wow. Okay, it's, it's like Bloody Wood, but it's not like Bloody Wood. It's metal, it's folk, but instead of a doll and kind of that rolling feel, 
This is more of an acoustic into a metal. So the song is a little bit different. The song styling and composition is different. And of course, yeah, the, the musical writing is different as well. And, the, and the, um, the type of arrangement they're doing is a little bit different with different instruments. But it's still very impactful. I'm still recovering from the women doing the interviews at the beginning. And when they were spouting out those facts. And when the woman said, it's just the tip of the iceberg. I, I remembered in the documentary that all the numbers they have are just what's reported. Because many women are afraid to even report it. Because they know that they report it, odds are they'll get blamed for it. Yes, I just said women get blamed for their own rapes. It does happen. More than you know. One hell of a gin guitar, though. What I feel a gin is real crazy. Okay, I'm going to stop for just a second because um, this is very haunting. And I, I challenge each of you to do a little research on the situation. People really don't understand. And this is not just picking on India, by the way. Do not take this the wrong way. This is a band from India talking about a situation in India that they live around. They're talking about it. From my point of view, I want to challenge you to do some research. Look around the world and realize that there's still slavery in this world. Did you know that? People talk about, oh, well, the United States is the most you know, horrible country ever on slavery. Yeah, we're pretty bad. And we stopped, officially stopped uh, slavery back in the 1800s. And then we ratified and made it unlawful to treat anyone of a different color 100 years later. That's pretty bad. And we're, we're dealing with that here. And that, that, that's for us to deal with individually, ourselves. Do better. But what if I told you that slavery was still going on right now in the modern world today? Nobody talks about it. Why? Because there's a lot of money involved. A lot of the things that you enjoy day to day could be made with slave labor. Have you looked into it? Most people don't. And uh, do some research. Not only is there there's child trafficking, young women, young men, sex trafficking going on. It's a real thing. The movie Taken wasn't just a funny story for Liam Neeson to be a badass. No, that really has been occurring for hundreds and hundreds of years, and it still goes on today. Rape culture in many countries is completely allowed, and the and the law and the government turns a blind eye to it because it's just, oh, well, it's just the way it's always been. There are situations where um, the choice of lifestyle or... Um, someone being a different gender or a different uh, um, sexual identity is considered against the law. 
homosexuality, whether it be men and men, women and women, or whatever, is against the law in many modern countries. Have you done your research? Have you looked at all the different instances where you see people on TV running around screaming how horrible things are and they don't even live in a country where it's actually really, really, really bad? If you really look at it, you realize that in the United States and Canada and in Europe and a lot of other countries, we've come a long way. Do we still have a ways to go? Yes. Do we still need to keep working on it? Of course. It's a work in progress. It'll, all, it'll never be perfect, and we always have to try for better. But when I tell you there are places around this world where it's still like it was a thousand years ago, that's not a joke. So these guys are just telling you one aspect from where they live, speaking truth and voices for those who dare not speak, either because they're afraid to or they're not allowed to. Hats off to you, Dimber. Thank you for sharing this message. We're going to finish this playing this out. I'm going to let it play all the way to the end. I'm not going to stop it again. The message is too important. At the end, if there is a little, little um, information stuff, uh, that's fine. Go. I'm going to put the original link to the video below so you can go and check it out yourself. See if there's any way that you can be active and help and see what you can do to help these situations. I don't know if there is a way to help. Uh, this is a situation for them in India. Uh, I don't live there. Uh, so, but I do stand with them in this, that it, something needs to be done. So we're going to let this finish playing out to Denver. Uh, my hat's off to you for your message. It's a very, very important message should not be let go as, like I said, as a dad of three girls, this is literally my nightmare. It is. Um, also before uh, I started back up, I do need to talk about the music. Uh, the message is strong. The music, if you listen to Bloodywood or other bands from India, they have a tendency to incorporate more of that Indian theming in their music. I'm finding that Denver's musical style is more of a European American metal style using Indian instruments. Whereas they could go with European American style instruments and play them in more of an Indian style. See, because Bloodywood does, they'll, they'll do a, a doll, but the rest of the band is playing in that staccato uh, Indian uh, musical style. That's their identity. Denver is taking more Indian instruments, not just the doll, but all kinds of instruments, and then placing it in a modern metal arrangement. So it's playing like, like a metal song you'd hear from, oh, I don't know, name the band from the United States or from Europe. It sounds like one of them, but they're using Indian instruments. So it's an interesting clash. I enjoy both. This message though, man, I don't, I don't know what's going on in India as far as anything else politically, but I do realize that their metal scene is pulling no punches. Holy crap. Between Denver and Bloodywood, bad people have no place to hide. These bands are just going for the jugular on this stuff, and I love it. Let's finish it out. It's a haunting breakdown.
there you go. That that pretty much says it all right there. Hashtag no to rape culture. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave that right there. Okay. Check out the link below. I think for India, as well as a lot of places, just like our problems with racial issues and slavery and here in the United States and women's suffrages and all these things, it's, it's a cultural difference. When I think back to my childhood, uh, which, you know, I, I'm from the South right? The deep South of the United States. And as a child, I still remember that racism was a pretty common thing when I was a kid. And I always felt like it was wrong and it seemed weird, but no one ever said anything. Whereas now, 40 years later, I couldn't imagine some of the things that were said and done when I was a kid here. And I think it's generationally changed. A lot of the things when I see videos of India in this situation, I'll see a group of women all with signs. They're protesting to stop rape culture and, and violence against women and everything. They go out on the street and all of a sudden a group of men twice the size of them literally take sticks and rocks and beat them till they leave. Go look it up. Google that shirt. Women demonstration in India attacked. It happens. I think what's going to happen is for India, um, you're going to see a change where the sons and daughters of the women, as they grow up and they become the adults, it will then not be tolerant. A lot of it is the, how do we say it? The old guard, the, uh, the culture, like for instance, the things that my grandmother would say that would be tolerated, I would never say. Because the generation before her, it was acceptable. And the generation before that, it was preferred. You see how that works? So the generation before my grandmother, it was preferred to talk those horrible things in regards to race and women. And then in her, in her race, she was raised and it was acceptable. And then in my mom's generation, it was frowned upon. We didn't do that. Just, you don't do that in public, right? And then in my generation, it's no. That's not, no, we're not going, no, don't even think like that. And the idea is for my daughter's generation, if I even try to tell them that that's how people used to think, they're like, really? People used to be like that? And they just don't understand. That's how it happens. Sometimes you can't affect change quickly. And that's a good thing. And sometimes it takes a passage where a generation goes away and the next generation makes, doesn't accept it anymore. Now, we would hope that it wouldn't take that long, but I think there is a hope that when I look in my daughter's eyes, I know that they're not going to live the life that I lived. And they're certainly not going to live the life that my mother and grandmother lived. My hope is hopefully it happens sooner, but those who hold this culture alive in India that turn a blind eye will, know, will not be in power forever. And when they go, the people who've watched this and went, that's not comfortable to me, will then come in power and say, it's not acceptable. And then the, the generation after that is, not only is it not okay, it's wrong. And then when they come to power, then it really changes. Is it sad that it still goes on? Yes. Do we wish it could be fixed right now? Absolutely. Could this be a catalyst to start making change now? Yes. Is there hope for the future? Yeah. Denver, amazing video, amazing story, good music. I was my honor to do a reaction to it. Hope all of you enjoyed. Please check out the description. Go to the original link. Check out the band. Check out what they're doing. Check out some of these hashtags. Let's make a difference in the world. Yes, where you live, this may not be an issue, but at least you can stand in support for those who deal with this every day. My name is Old School Nerd. We'll see you on the next one.